While most other regions continually dominate headlines for their exemplary performance in both Kenya Certificate of Primary Education and the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education exams, year after year the region trails in national examinations. In last year's KCSE, for example, of the top 100 schools nationally, only two were from the coast, Abu Huraira and Sheikh Khalifa, both private schools. If you look at the statistics, all the counties in the former coast province, which we now call coast region, you do not have to check. You will simply find that they either number 40, 41, 42, 43, up to 47. They are always last. While they produce excellent individual results, seldom do their best make the top 100 honor roll. Case in point, the 2011 KCPE and the low education levels are almost uniform all across the region. Coast province ni watoto ambao hawana hamu kubwa ya kuendelea kusoma. While the issue may seem a little bit exaggerated, it appears it runs deeper than I thought. Case in point is this signpost. It's supposed to lead you to Makamini Primary School. And while everything about it can be excused, the language definitely is not one of those. The spelling or vision is spelled with a double S instead of a single S. And I think they meant to say qualified, to produce the best qualified students. But qualified is spelled as Q-U-A-L-I-E-I-E-D. Qualified. Another example is knowledgeable. Knowledgeable is spelled as is pronounced without the E. And then the other thing is that the school is in Samburu. Samburu is spelled as S-A-M-U-R-U -U without the B. Now forget the fact that Makamini was a school that performed poorest in the 2011 KCPE exams. Kilometers away into Samburu in Kilifi County is Makamini Primary School. Months after 76 of their students sat their KCPE exams last year and were rated the worst performers, another lot is on the spot this year, hoping to rewrite history. Since the results last year, all the teachers have since been transferred. In place, Paul Ngula was transferred here as the head teacher and was immediately taken aback by the standards of learning. Standards of education in this school actually we are very much low and uh, according to what I can see is that uh, there was poor foundation of the school because uh, even some students in class 8, 7 and even 6 cannot read in Kiswahili, cannot read in English and these are the children we are expecting them to sit for the KCP this year but they cannot read. And since nobody wanted to be associated with failure, it took a while before he could get new teachers. I remained here for around three to four weeks alone. By the close of first term, only four teachers had accepted the challenge to undo what had been done. And while they know turning tables may not happen anytime soon, even breaking from the last position could be harder than anticipated. We have got so many absentees daily. And if you fall up, if you make fall up, you find that the, the parents are just with their children at home. Zendere is among the 46 pupils waiting to see the KCPE exam, but as it is, reading out a question from a geography revision paper is impossible. Yes, can you read the second one? You can't. The third one? But she is not the only one. Many more in her class go through the same difficulty when asked to read. In, in the new com According to the head teacher, it gets worse when it comes to writing. He shows us compositions both in English and Swahili, which we find incomprehensible. What we are trying to do is that uh, we see whether we, have, we can start um, afresh by uh, making sure that the class 8, the ECD class, class 2 3, are able to read so that we can now make or lay down a good foundation for the children. Very few of these students have ambitions of going to high school or even university. And while the cry has always been the lack of universities and colleges in the coast province, a few have since opened branches here. Even then, the places are filled by students from everywhere else in the country, but very few, if any, from here in the coast. What were cost in the universities? Niwachache. Wanafunzi. About 3% of the students uh, who 
uh, do KCSE exams or did KCSE exams last year, only 3% qualified for admission, for example, to the university. For instance, at Pwani University in Kilifi, a branch of Kenyatta University, of the 3,500 students, only 170 are from the coast province. In the 2011 intake of the 573 students, only 31 are from the coast, and none of them undertake any of the courses considered technical, BSc in agriculture, nursing, biochemistry. The highest enrollment is in business education with 10 students. Ironically, the coast is considered the entry point for formal education in Kenya. Though out on a mission to spread Christianity, Dr. Ludwig Kraft, a German missionary, brought with him the concept of formal education. Wa Secondary School was the first of those established by the missionary. But after his religion was rejected, he moved his center to Rabai, where he established Ribe Secondary School. Both schools still stand. Wa is in the outskirts of Okunda in South Coast. And while learning still goes on, it's not in the honorary role of best schools even in the province. Ramisi, a mathematics teacher now, was also a student here and knows just what is going wrong. In the map if we, of education, if you look at uh, where Alliance and where Mango is, we can say that uh, Wa is also supposed to be at the same level. Only that uh, it is uh, not there. It is unfortunate. But why the little interest in education at the coast? It has been a stereotype that uh, those at the coast are lazy. Join me for more in part two of this series, The Last to Graduate, Coast's Education Dilemma. Esther Kahumbi, KTN, Mombasa.